Hi, I'm Sharon Rich, um, and I am in charge of the Advent Giving Tree for Sacred Heart. I've been doing it since about 2002 or three. I can't remember. Um, I took it over from, I think it was Marty Geiger. Uh, it, unless it was Rita Spillane, it was one of those two. But I'm happy that I took it over because it freed them up to do like even more of the amazing things that they do for Sacred Heart. Also, I'll tell you that Sister Martin asked me to um, take it over. And um, I, I don't think that anyone was allowed to say no to Sister Martin, but if I, I certainly didn't feel like I could. So that's, that she's the one that got me started in it. Yeah, Always been St. Francis Terrace since I started. I see these same names every single year. And there's these kids that are 17, 18 now. And I remember when they were like three or four, you know, and every year they're like a year older and they still want the Target gift card, you know, like they did the year before. So. Most years they have a party where they pass them out. Uh, keep it open <laughs> past Sunday. Um, if it means that more kids can be taken later on, can be selected later on. So one of the two is the Human Trafficking Medical Safe Haven, and that's our newest one. Catherine Hogue was the first one to bring that to my attention. And Catherine's been like a longtime helper for like going back, you know, 15 years. She's the other one is the, um, continues to be the diocesan AIDS ministry, which has that that's been there for a really long time too. And Susan Mendes has also been help you know providing a lot of help with me, and she's the one that brought that to my attention. Um, I'll have a conversation with Father Walton at some point, and then we'll um, you know discuss which, what charities, there were years where we helped specific families at Sacred Heart. You know, just if something came up that he would be aware of, then we would make it all work with the giving tree and the parishioners were always super good about, you know, saying yes. Call it Rio Garden Senior Living Apartments. And there's been like, 50 seniors that live in this apartment and we always collect, we've been collecting gift cards for them uh, for 20 or $25 for a safe way. Cause it's like right across the street from where they live. Um, but this year I just, I had to sense that we weren't gonna get that kind of participation. And um, you know, and, and we're talking about a year that's been hard, you know. Well, don't, I wanted to, to share like, kind of some of the, the letters that I got. Like this is, this is what they would do every year, the senior home. So they would send it and then inside, like like every one of those 50 people would sign it and you know, with their apartment number, it was really sweet. Um, we also got a letter from, uh, this is um, the Human Trafficking Medical Safe Haven. It has a different name because I think they're, they, they changed their name this year. But acknowledging that we gave them, um, you know, like these gift cards uh, that they were able to pass out to um, the women that they serve. And um, these were from some of the kids that uh, from St. Francis Terrace. And it's just so sweet. Like this one says, to whom it may concern, thank you for this gift. I appreciate your kind gesture. I hope when I grow up, I will fill a child's heart with the joy you filled mine with. And you know, this is not for me, this is for whoever got these cards to, to start with and, and pass them over. Uh, this one says, um, I'm very excited to use this gift card. One day when I'm older, I wanna to contribute to this program. <laughs> and I hope to make a teenager as excited as you are going to make me. You know, it's, it's, so it's very sweet. Um, 
And it was really nice. I, I used to really enjoy watching the families do it because you could tell it was a family activity to go every year and then choose it and have this discussion. But even just the individuals that would go, people, when they approached that tree and took the cards, you could just see like the joy in their face. Um, so I miss not seeing that, but I know that, you know, even from home, people will, pe people get joy from helping their neighbors. Um, and it's, it's an honor to be uh, a part of this for Sacred Heart.